Hey, darlings. Let's pop off one more before bed. Come on in. Have a seat. Grab a coffee. Grab a glass of wine. Grab a blankie. Say hey to Maximus. How you doing, Maximus? How you doing? Anything you want to add? No, I guess not. Not very talkative today. Okay, I thought we'd uh, we'd do a collective. See if we can pick up on a few energies out right there. Spirits in the house. I did an all 12 earlier. Oh, cancer, darling. Holy. God, love you, darling. I got some massive anxiety. Holy. I don't know what you're going through personally, darling, but. Don't get yourself all wrapped up like that. It's, it's real bad for you. Holy. All kinds of cards falling. Gee. Okay, so let's see what we can pick up on, on for the collective. Cards are still falling, jumping out. Cards want to talk. Okay, cards want to talk. I'm going to stop shuffling them. Okay, darlings. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. <laughs> stop it, strawberry. <laughs> oh, what happened? It got dark. Then the lights came on. Char sees it, Char reads it. Ain't no fluffy here, no fluff. For anybody that's new, ain't no fluffy here, babe. My girlfriends know. You're looking for fluffy, just ain't the place. Char sees it, Char reads it. We have a, we have a, a collective of people who are involved in a third party. And this is, God almighty, get over there. We've got the magician. You're wanting to take a leap with this person. There's manifesting. But there's a, a third party situation here. I don't know who it is. Might pop out later on. We're all up in swords here. All up in swords and madly in love. Whoever I'm talking to. I'm going to move you back so I don't look like I'm... Uh, I got myself plugged in, so... There we go. I don't want to give you too big a 3D effect, you know? Okay. Yeah, there's a big love. Huge love. Wanting to take a leap. This is the guy... I'm happy. I got no signs out yet. Holy shamoli. This person loves you too. It's 
So what's going on? Why would there be a third party if there's love on both sides? I see one wanting to take a leap. One wanting to solidify this and bring it in as a an exclusive between two people and that's it. You know, a relationship, maybe more. I have an air sign coming out here. This air sign. Good bed. Good bed. Did you, did you tell this person that you love them? And they more or less said that they're not ready to take that leap yet? I think that's what I'm seeing here. Is that you told this person that you love them. But it was not reciprocated. It was, it was excuses, you know, like, well, we haven't known each other that long and we've only been dating for so long and, you know, we should, you know, go slow. And this, this is quite a bit younger person than you. I'll say eight years younger, possibly even 12. So I'm probably talking to a woman in her late 30s or so. This person put you, holy shamoly, this what the hell kind of person is this? Okay, what what I'm seeing is freaking unbelievable. What I'm seeing is when this person's in trouble, they're saying, "Well, I'll I'll just go to collective and they'll love me and." show me favor and we'll have a good time. It's a very, very young person, young minded. If he's not young, then he's extremely young minded. Like the, the kind of guy that uh, set his farts on fire, you know, like that kind of guy, you know, a very immature thinking person. I don't know where that came from, this spirit, gee. And, and there's a constant, there's a constant going away and not messaging. And when shit hits the fan, coming back, Do you, do you mind if I bring a few clothes over and spend a couple of days? And... No, I don't mind. And preparing, preparing for his arrival. We have the king of love here. We have a water sign. King of love, king of cups. A smooth talker. Manipulative in a way in which he can turn it around so that you feel sorry for him. What the hell kind of person is this? There's love, but it's in constant, constant motion of unease and 
being put on the back burner until needed and then being brought back out ghosting for five six days and then texting and expect for you to jump at the text what the hell is this very immature person very immature oh god okay now i understand why you're still in this kind of a relationship we have a, a twin flame hard to break hard to break away for that holy shamali there is more mental communication telepathy than there is communication on the physical plane and I think you know what I mean by that. This person can move across the other side of the world and you will still be able to feel their, or, or to hear their footsteps. Dougie? But this is a person who takes advantage of your kindness, of your love. He makes promises. Like, it's going to be good. I just need some more time. I just need. I just need. I just need. It's like he's constantly got his hand out. I need. I need. And then he goes away when things are better. Oh, this is a best start on, man. That's what this is. We have a earth sign that just popped out here. If you're involved with a water sign, that you you got to try to break the spell that you're under and kick this guy to the curb seriously. This is a total ass. This is a codependent person. This, I don't know what kind of love they have for you, but they're codependent. If I'm ever in shit, I, I know I can go to Collective. Collective will welcome me. Doors always open. I can sleep there whenever I want. I can eat. Collective will cook for me. They'll do my laundry. They'll do everything for me. Collective's good people. This is an ass. I, I don't mean to talk bad about your person, if this is your person. He's also really into manifestation, which is one of the things that probably really keeps you in tune with him. Because he's been manifesting. He keeps manifesting this. He'll disappear. And Jesus. Even though he wants to come forward after he's ghosted for a while. And you can see he wants to come forward. And he wants to talk to you. But he'll sit there and manifest instead. And you'll be all up in sorts because of it. And crying and hiding under your blanket and holy shamoli send it back babe zombie or no zombie send that back don't let anybody freaking do that to you taking away your free will it's probably why you're having a hard time breaking free of this yeah this this guy's just god almighty this guy's just a kid, like mentally a kid. This is a person, he's not only codependent, I, 
can I can see he's he he's even actually having difficulty with a friend. Like he's just so into him, thinking he's something, God's gift to women. Yeah, I, I just see him wanting to argue and his friends are all getting up in swords against him and and then he comes running to collective, you know, like, oh, you know, they're, you know what he, she did and you know what he did and they're treating me bad and blah, blah, blah. It's because you're an ass. That's why they're treating you bad, because you're an ass. And he keeps, when he does come back, he comes back full force with a vengeance, with messages of love. Oh, you, you know, I really do love you. You know I love you. And, ah, serious twin flame here. Extreme ten, twin flame. A lot of telepathy. More conversations of the mind than there are and there are conversations here on this planet. And I can see that there's times that you're so happy with him. So happy. He can make you so happy. Just sitting and talking and eating together and, you know, there's, there's even like just pillow talk, just laying in bed and just laying there, holding a respect for each other while you just lay there and talk. Uh, holy shimoli, girlfriend. Just, and and you're, you're thinking, you know, I gotta get out of this. I gotta get out of this, but he, you welcome him back. He comes back in and you're saying, I, I gotta, I, I really gotta get out of this. And I, I, I can't even think for myself anymore. Like all, all I can think about is him. You know, he's just, just non-stop, non-stop, uh, uh, inner tower, just crumbling and with every step you take, a friggin' brick falls out. And, and you know, but see, this is the sad part. We got the Five of Cups. Two cups are laying on the ground, spilled out. And you're crying over the, the spilled out. There's three sitting right there. Three more. Crying over this spilled connection with this guy that wants to light his farts on fire and and yahooing and life of the party party animal kind of guy and here you got three more cups sitting there just just waiting for you to pick them up and and experience them girlfriend jesus christ this guy this guy ghosting and messaging and ghosting and messaging and ghosting and messaging and and what's he doing when he's ghosting i i see uh one two three three times that this guy's been unfaithful three times i'm sorry babe Char sees it, Char reads it. But you know. You know. You know he is. You know he is. Because you keep fighting with yourself. I gotta get out of this. But you go back. Oh my god, I went back. Jeez, you beat yourself up. You shouldn't be beating yourself. Go beat him up. What are you beating yourself up for? This guy, I'm telling you, 
This guy is a uh, la douche, is what he is. Manifesting son of a bitch. <laughs> Just the thoughts that he's manifesting, I don't like him anymore. Well, I don't like him anyway. Let's see if we can get some, uh, some more hidden knowledge and some advice. Holy shamoly. This guy. Immature. Very immature person. I mean, for all I know, the guy could be in his 30s. I say he's younger than you. It might not be age. But definitely mentally. Definitely. This guy should be on his knees thanking God that he found someone like you. He hangs around with a bunch of strange ones too. His friends are all pretty much the same as he is. A lot of drama wrapped around them. Good God. Collective. I don't know who I'm reading here. Holy shamolies. Let's try to get some advice. Maybe find out a couple more things. Let's get it on. Let's get her done. Let's go, darlings. All up in swords, darling. There's the five of cups. Two spilled. Three sitting right there. Deception. Twin flame. Deception. All up in sorrow. Sorrow. Sadness. Heartbreak. Heartache. Headache. Even your joints ache. Is it... God almighty, think about what this guy's doing. Girlfriend. Think about what this guy's doing. And what you're letting him do to you. Girlfriend, holy crap. You still got three cups, darling. And I see... We just, I, I sit here and I think, oh my God, cards are changing. All right, cards are changing. We're, we're doing all right. We're, we're getting something in our, in our head that says, okay, I'm finished with this shit. I'm done with this. I'm moving on. And then crash, crash. And you want, you, but you want to take a leap with him. You want to. You you want to try to make this work. Water sign. <sighs> Darling. And an air sign. Always up in decisions. It's like most of your day is deciding on what to do. This is in your head, in your heart, 24-7. This is a non-stop tower. Non-freaking-stop. So in love. So in love. And so wanting to try, so wanting him to come around and to see, and so you're doing and doing and doing and doing, and he's coming and going and ghosting and being an ass, big time ass around his friends. I mean, he, he, he's a little more sensible when he's around you. But I'm telling you, darling, that's not him. He's not like that. He, this guy's an ass. When he's around his friends, you look at the way he behaves, that's him. That's the real him. This 
guy's got a lot of growing up to do. He's got a lot of growing up to do. And you got to get the hell out of this. You really do. I can see if you continue. And he's a cheat. Again, one, two, three. Again, three. Three different times. This friggin' guy. This has got to be some kind of karma. Or, well, it's a twin flame. It's, it's a huge twin flame. It's got to be a, a karmic twin flame. It's got to be. It's got to be a past life. Use your karma. There you go. There it is. There he is. This is for you. There's a message in this. In this relationship. In this love. There is a message for you to figure out. Manifesting. Manifesting love. I don't know who's manifesting, but you know what? It ain't working. It's swords coming right after that manifestation. Swords. This is a karmic thing. It's time for you to sit down and decide Why? Why have I, am I being taught this lesson? Why is this happening? Take all his characteristics and look at all your characteristics. Figure out what it is that you do in this relationship that, that causes it to fail. This is your karmic. You really don't have to look at what he's so much doing. Jesus. Not so much what he is doing, but what is this telling you? And why is this lesson coming to you? Now, like I said, once you learn that lesson, and your eyes are opened, and then you'll see, and you'll say, oh my God, the hell was I thinking with this guy? Once you get to that point, and you say, listen, bub, keep moving on, you know, go find yourself some, some kid, you know, go find someone young like you and stupid. As soon as you learn that, sometimes, and then the karmic wheel will stop, and then sometimes the divine, through all its wonderful wisdom, not quite knowing how the universe works, but sometimes the universe will bring that person back to you differently. They'll work on that person and change them in order to present back to you. Good God. I hope you understand that. Karma is a weird thing. There's a water sign. Darling, this, this is a cheat. This is a cheat. This is a, this is a lion cheat. This is a user, an abuser. This guy thinks he's something else. Good God. He's just a little kid in a man's body is what he is. Just a just a punk kid. My advice. My advice. You're living a constant 24-7 tower moment. 24-7 this crap is on your mind. In your heart. In your body. 
in your psyche, in your soul, in your chi, in everything. Everything in your life is wrapped around this relationship. And the sorrow, and the hurt, and the pain, and the constant gnawing in the back of your mind. What's he doing? What's he doing? You know what he's doing. You know, darling. My advice, crash and burn this bastard, you know? Char sees it, Char says it. Spirit tells me, I'm going to tell you. And even though it sounds harsh and cruel, I, I got to say it. I, I can't, there's no fluff here, babe, I'm sorry. This is what I'm seeing. Take the tower moment. Take it. Crash and burn that son of a bitch down to the ground. Get over it. Get on your feet. If you have to, go get some some help. Ask someone help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Go to friends. Go to family. Go, go to medical professional. Go to anything and everything. Get yourself out of this. Lights go. Get yourself out of this, darling. Oh! Jeez, I need my sunglasses. Oh! I'm sorry, babes. God love you, darling. I'm sorry. I wish I had a better reading for you. Well, on that note, I go and flush out this guy's energy. No mistake, darling. No mistake.